So, now that the game is over, I will be releasing all of the assets used to create the game to you, the community. The next few videos will highlight which assets are available and some notes about their design and conception. But the support squad and I have a surprise for you. For the first seven days, the character models with all the texture and UV maps for Guilty Gear anime style Shaden are free. That's right, completely free. You can go to my art station right now and click any of the characters from my game and you will see a free personal use license allowing you to download the 3D model with all the textures for literally nothing at all. And if you want the rigged and animated version of the character, you can get that by buying the commercial license instead. The commercial license is really just for people who want to save time and just don't want to go through the trouble of learning to rig and weight paint themselves because all of my weight painting and rigging tutorials are available here on YouTube for free. So if you don't have money but you have time you can get the free version of the model on ArtStation and just follow my tutorials and you'll basically have the commercial version with no charge one thing I would like to remind people is there are maybe seven or eight people on the planet who you can commission to do proper Guilty Gear style anime shaded characters in this style the average price they charge for a character in this style is usually gonna be between one and three thousand US dollars this style is extremely expensive normally because most of it is hand-painted square UV text texturing and UV organization. And I'm giving you the model, the UVs, and the textures for free, which is already hundreds of hours of work. But please understand that just because I'm giving it to you cheap doesn't mean you can expect everyone else to. Because if you go to anyone else to commission a character done in this style, don't expect it to be cheap. Again, the window will only be available for seven days. It's kind of a way for me to reward those of you who keep a close eye on the channel and watch all the videos. I'm gonna be making the characters for a long time. And every time I complete a character, the model will be available to you guys for free the first seven days. Afterwards, only the commercial license will be available for that character. So if you are not paying attention, you might miss out on the free assets that I make over the years. Something I'd like to state is the only reason that I feel confident releasing my content for free like this is because of our incredible support squad of the members and patrons. It's because they sacrifice each month that you guys keep getting new videos, new assets, and new games like this for free. If it wasn't for them, I definitely couldn't afford to keep doing what I am right now. And speaking of the squad, today I'd like to share a little secret easter egg that probably no one knows regarding the game. The names of all the support squad members who are active during April 21st can be found in the credits of the main menu. But what most of you probably don't know is the acronyms for the names of the weapons aren't just random letters and numbers. The letters at the beginning of each weapon are named after the longest stand-in members of the support squad. During development I handpicked the members who I thought made the biggest sacrifices or dedication to the channel and gave them the freedom to decide to create their own letter and number sequence that would appear beside their weapon of choice. So for example, the ZOV6 Cascade is named after Zoe Olivia. Zoe has a special place here on the squad because she was the first patron to ever support the channel. I vividly remember August 2019 was the first time I'd ever received a patron sub. It was the first time patron had ever notified me and the name that I saw was hers. And three years later, she's still here and continues to support the channel each month. So the minigun letters belong to her. The DM2228WM Comrade is named after Dustin Mayer, another legacy member. Not only is he one of the longest remaining members, he was also the first to go above the $5 limit that I had set on Patreon. I specifically only have two tiers on Patreon, a $1 and a $5. And I keep it maxed out at 5 because I don't want to guilt trip people into feeling like, oh I could have done more, or I should do more. If you put 5 in a month, I wanted you to have the satisfaction of knowing that you did everything you possibly could to support the channel. But every now and then, someone like Dustin comes along and goes above and beyond the $5 limit. And the fact that he's kept that and is still here today is why his letters are next to this weapon. The DJ560 Justice is named after David Johnson, another outstanding long-term member who not only donates each month, but also has a history of donating valuable pieces of hardware for the sake of the channel. The hard drive and the graphics card inside the computer I use to work on this channel are both pieces of equipment that he has graciously donated for the sake of the community. If it wasn't for his equipment, my computer would not be able to handle the frame rate of the screen recording software or the speed of compiling needed to build games smoothly. So thank you, David, for all that you've done. The SNK Caster is named after Steven Upadek. This guy gets a reward because not only is he a patron member, he is also a YouTube member. So he double supports the channel from both sides. I don't know if he knows that I know, but I think it's hilarious because most people just pick one or the other and he's just like, nah, I'm doing both. So for his double dedication, he has earned his initials 
next to the missile launcher. The IKX Granada is named after Ixi Tatsunoko Forever. What makes Ixi so special is when I opened up the YouTube membership for the first time, he was the very first one to sign up. And ever since then, he's been one of the most active, most responsive members of the entire squad. He always likes things, he always tries to leave comments, and even when he can't think of anything to say, he'll drop the algorithm emoji just to help our channel get YouTube's attention. A lot of members come and go with time, but he's really stuck with us. So for that, his letter is getting engraved next to the grenade launcher. The TDK Enforcer is named after the Night Dark. The Night Dark was also one of the first members to sign up when I first opened up the YouTube memberships, and he is also one of the longest lasting members who is still with us today. And he's memorable to me because his avatar is just a very adorable looking chibi knight. And every time I see it, I don't know, the character just makes me smile. And he's also one of the more active members who does try his best to leave comments whenever possible, and I respect that. So I have engraved his letters next to the rifle. The PTG Repulsa is named after Peter glass low because he leaves really long comments and messages and is super hella insightful like I remember just reading some of the stuff he typed and thinking wow this guy really thinks a lot more than I do and he's extremely open about finding and improving solutions to problems I really respect this kind of mentality and is one of the longest standing members his letters have earned a spot next to the machine gun the sh97 shooting star is named after shines light her support of the channel actually predates before I even had a patron she's been around supporting liking and commenting in videos as early as development of the previous project before this channel even had a hundred subs. Her long time continued support and dedication has earned her a solid place next to the name of this weapon. The LDB initials next to the Regenval are the initials for my little bro. He's always been there sharing new cool things he learns with me and was the one who taught me how to make music with Fruity Loops. He was also the one who introduced me to Blender in the first place so without him I would have never started making tutorials and found you guys. His sacrifices extend way beyond just what I do here on the channel and he's the best doubles partner I could ask for in Smash Bros. So thanks man, you're awesome and I love you. The final weapon, the NBT Longbow, is proudly named after Nathan Barrett, our largest and one of our longest supporters from back in the day. I won't say how much he sacrifices each month, we've talked quite a bit in messaging over the years and many of his contributions are what allowed me the financial ability to purchase large assets like the Monster Brush that were used to create a lot of the alien designs for the game. He's a quiet, modest, and generous dude who's actions speak much louder than words and many of the video series on this channel were only possible because his donations allowed me to afford the software and hardware that I use today and for that my good sir I have engraved your name proudly next to the sniper rifle so that is the story behind the naming of each weapon in the game hope you guys enjoyed those little Easter eggs my game is done so I don't really have a need for these characters anymore but there's a lot of heart and soul that went into each of them so I really hope they might be useful for you and your projects in the future so hope that helps and as always hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.